How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to get an eight pack in three minutes. So this is a question that I got from a subscriber. So I'm going to go over that with you guys right now. So for anyone wondering out there, because a lot of you guys will be wondering, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, there's a four pack. I've heard of a six pack. I've heard of an eight pack. How do you get each one? Now, if you guys aren't familiar with how your abs are developed based on your genetics, then this will help you guys get filled in. So you really can't build a four pack, a six pack or an eight pack. All of our bodies are built differently. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example, he had amazing abs. You guys, his abs were shredded. And they were in bodybuilding competition, you guys. So he was very, very lean. He was maybe 5 6% body fat when he was standing on stage. Now look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's picture very carefully. You will notice that he only has a four pack. That is right. He only has four abs showing. Now some of you guys out there, you'll probably be thinking to yourselves, well, he's not doing it correctly. He does not have six pack abs. He's not training his abs correctly completely incorrect his body genetics he is only capable of having four abs showing that's all there is there is only four abs that are showing you guys now there are going to be people out there i am one for example that when i get very lean you can see six of my abs so i have six packed abs you guys and yes they look very nice a lot of people who have six packed abs their abs look pretty decent there are though the rare people out there that when they get very lean, you can see eight pack. You can see an eight pack, you guys. You can see eight of their abdominal muscles. Now, for anyone wondering, well, how do they do this? Here's the thing, that's based on genetics. If Arnold Schwarzenegger wanted to, he would probably himself want at least a six pack, maybe even an eight pack. So for you guys wondering out there, wow, I, I, I want this eight pack. I just want you guys to be filled in first that you may work out, you may do all the ab crunches in the world, get extremely diced. You may never see these eight packs. Now I'm not trying to be negative with you guys. I'm just trying to let you guys know this because if you guys are training, trying to get that, it just may be impossible for you guys. But that's not saying that you guys cannot get a shredded set of abs. And we're going to go over the program with you guys right now, how to get that shredded abs. I will also give you guys a few tips on what you need to know because it's going to be very important if you guys are trying to get those abs. Now, to get those abs, I said in three minutes. So is it possible to get your abs in three minutes? Absolutely, you guys. To get six-packed abs, four-packed abs, eight-packed abs, whatever your body has for abdominal muscles and you will find this out in a hurry once you start getting lean your abs start popping once you get to 10 to 12 percent body fat you will really know for sure what you have for abs you may have a nice chiseled six packed abs which is awesome so let's go over the workout the routine to get you those six packed abs what's it going to take you guys now in my opinion for abs the best way to hit your abs it is with lots of volume, lots of repetitions, and using some form of weight, in my opinion. If you have no weight, that's 100% okay. Body weight exercises will work, so do not worry about it. Just remember, anything that is working your muscle is better than doing nothing. So if you only have access to doing body weight ab crunches, that is way better even if you don't have weights to use because at least you're still doing something, at least you're still working your abdominal muscles. So with that being said, I recommend you guys do sets of 25 to 35 repetitions performing ab crunches. Now if you have no weights, that's perfectly fine, but what I love to do is I like to put a 10 or 25 pound weight behind my head when I'm performing my ab crunches. This really allows me to get a good squeeze in my abs and it allows me to hit my abs a lot harder. But again, if you do not have weights, that's perfectly fine. Ab crunches will work as well. Another exercise that can work amazing is mountain climbers. Mountain climbers hit the living crap out of your abdominal muscles. So what you could do is you could do ab crunches, sets of 35, and do um, 
do as many sets as you feel comfortable until you start to really feel your abs to work. Everyone is going to be differently. Some people may do two sets, some people three sets, some people five sets. Find out what's, what works for you and then over time simply keep adding sets. Very easy, very simple progression, but it does work. So for the mountain climbers, do exactly the same thing. So what I recommend doing, do your ab crunches for say two weeks, switch to your mountain climbers, switch to your ab crunches, switch to your mountain climbers. You can put in a lot of different variety too. You don't have to do ab crunches or mountain climbers. You can do hanging knee raises. You can do captain crunches. You ab medicine ball twists. You can do um, ab wheel rollouts. So many different ab exercises. The main point is that you're working your abdominal muscles using high volume, using a decent amount of sets, and over time slowly progressing. That is what's going to build a strong core. That's what's really going to develop your muscles. As for your abs being visible, because so let's face it, a lot of people, their abs do not show. So what is behind this? Well, a lot of people, they have a lot of fat covering their abdominal muscles. So there's a lot of people, two groups will happen. The first group, they will have a ton of fat, but they'll have a lot of muscle developed. So they might not see their abs. The second group, They'll be extremely lean, very, very lean, but they have no ab muscles developed. These are typically the kids that always, always you see commenting saying, well, I'm 120 pounds, I'm very skinny, but my abs don't show. Why don't they look like the bodybuilders who are really crisp, chiseled, and look fucking sick? Why don't mine look like that? Your abs don't look like that because your abs are a muscle group and they need to be developed like a muscle group. So if you want better abs, you need to develop the muscle in your abs. So for you lean guys out there, 130 pounds, 140 pounds, once you develop the muscle, two, three months, you develop that muscle, your abs are gonna pop like a mother, you guys. They're gonna look crazy shredded. The guys who have a ton of ab muscles already, but they're a little bit fatter, get rid of that fat, a month or two of really strict dieting, your abs are gonna be crazy. So that was the second point I wanted to talk about, diet. Make sure your diet is in check. Make sure you're eating good foods, healthy diet. So end of video, that is how you guys get an eight pack in three minutes. You may not have the genetics for an eight pack, even a four pack or a six pack. Doesn't matter what you have, as long as you're lean and those ab muscles are popping up, you're gonna look crazy good. So end of video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks for watching.